me do? Oh, no! No! That was the plea from a minor high school band member for officers to let go of her director, Johnny Mims. And thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Guy Rawlings. That altercation landed Johnny Mims on administrative leave and facing criminal charges. This after Birmingham police told him and his band to leave after a football game. Minor and Jackson Olin were doing their fifth quarter performances last Thursday, but Birmingham police told them to exit the stadium. Only Jackson Olin obliged. And then officers approached Mims and his staff to tell them repeatedly to stop, but they continued to play. The altercation only intensified and it ended with Mims tased and handcuffed. Tonight, we're hearing from the band director and his attorney. WVTM 13's Jarvis Robertson live and local in Birmingham with that sit down interview. Yeah, that's right, guy. Now, Birmingham police says that Johnny Mims pushed him when he was trying to be, when they were trying to arrest him. However, his attorney, Wendelin uh, Gavan, says that that is absolutely not the case. <laughs> The arrest of Minor High School's band director still leaves more questions to be answered. Even after Birmingham police released body cam footage, you can clearly see and hear Johnny Mims interacting with officers, telling them to get out of his face, a moment he's still unclear on. Which I, I thought was very threatening um, uh, to me. Um, and so my, my whole uh, goal was just try to just understand why. Mims was hurt telling officers they were about to leave and that it was their last song. They were still playing because of fifth quarter. It's a very uh, popular uh, time uh, during the football seasons amongst bands. It's almost like a battle of the band. I reached out to Birmingham City Schools to see if they have a policy on fifth quarter performances since the game was played at Jackson Olin. I was told high school bands in Birmingham City Schools are instructed to exit the stadium as soon as possible at the conclusion of football games. As a safety precaution, fifth quarter performances are not allowed. As the situation still escalated Thursday night, Miner's band director knew his students were traumatized. All I remember is hearing all of my students uh, screaming, all of the parents crying. I mean, it was it was a horrifying situation. Mims was tased three times. He says students were having panic attacks. You see something like that happen to your your most prized possession teacher, somebody who you look up to. Can you imagine how you would feel? Now, Gavan says that she does plan to submit a discovery request to the city to get the names of all the officers that were involved involved and also to confirm if any Birmingham City Schools security officers were involved as well. In addition to that, I found out today that Mr. Mims was also a bus driver that night, so many of the students had to find a way to get back to Minor High School. Reporting live in Birmingham tonight, I'm Jarvis Robertson, WVTM 13. Jarvis, thanks. We're also learning more about Mims' history as a teacher. According to the Minor High School Band website, Mims spent much of his career in Central Florida working in the Daytona and Volusia County school system. He was nominated for Teacher of the Year in 2016. Mims eventually left Florida to accept the job at Minor High in 2018. For all of our coverage on this incident and more footage from the altercation, be sure to visit our website or download the WVTM 13 app.